would you like to tell our audience what were you taking in college? This is something which always amuses my sister. I'm not quite sure why, but anyway, <laughs> here we are. The subjects I was studying at Bournemouth College were economics, economic history, political history with a special paper in English social conditions, 1850 to 1900. One of the subjects I had to learn, knowing it would come up in the examination, were the factors that affect the demand curve in conventional economics. Fashion, advertising, taste, habit, inventions, prices of near substitutes, expectations of trends, changes in, the, in price, the distribution of income, and the quantity and quality of the money supply. Now this still amuses my sister, but the one that she really likes to do, and I'll move here, is to the division of attention exercise. What all we really have in life is the quality of our attention. And within guitar craft, developing and practicing the volitional attention is paramount. And we do this, for example, four in the left hand, five in the right. You might like to try this while I'm speaking. <laughs> Now, the division of attention here is not primarily between keeping four in the left hand and five in the right, <laughs> but in having a conversation at the same time. Or as it amuses my sister, to recite the factors that affect the demand curve in conventional economics. <laughs> Fashion, advertising, taste, habit, inventions, the prices of near substitutes, expectations of trends and changes in price, distribution of income, and the quantity and quality of the money supply. Now, what we might do after this, we have four in the left hand and five in the right mostly, is to do it standing on one foot. And then, three in the left foot, four in the left hand, five in the right hand. Here we are practicing division of attention. Fashion, advertising, taste, habit, inventions. And with that, I move sideways. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Fripp. Please like and subscribe and tell me what content you want me to create next.